So I saw Civil War last night. The question remains, is it overhyped or is it really that good? It is American, 100%. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. Are you serious? The United States have vaporized a student on site in the capital. I've never been scared like that before. Cash Station, welcome back to a brand new video channel. So today we're talking Civil War, a movie I saw last night with Everett. Now, I did trailer reactions for this film. I've literally said that I don't have any interest in this film. I don't understand what's going on here. But due to the social media reactions, and my boy Jerry telling me, bro, this is my second favorite film of the year. I'm like, okay, okay, calm down. Let me go watch it. And let me tell you this much. This is probably the most remarkable, unique film I've seen to date. It's literally from start to finish, the opening scene with Chris and Dunn's character, what she's capturing, until the last shot of this film, I couldn't keep my eyes off the screen. Me and everybody talked. This film is something that literally I wish to God, well, there was more of it, if that makes sense, you know? spin offs all franchise okay i will say this right now i liked everybody in this film but chris Dunn's character but i mean at the, at the end of the day it is what it is you know like i didn't really find her character very interesting i understand why she wasn't interesting because of how much she'd been dealt with for her life you know so number one is this i'm sure you're asked to be did i have any complaints with this film or any nitpicks and to be honest with you not really i didn't have any issues so the only thing i'd say is this in the very beginning of the film i didn't like this film at all the first 15 to 20 minutes of this film it takes to my dad and I texted Jaren saying I don't like this film and then Jaren was like you know give it time the next scene will be the best scene ever right and I remember the the, the most anticipating scene of this film the, the most scribbling haunting anxiety thing in this film is the scene with Jesse Plemons I won't give anything away and the fact that I remember I was already like my, my anxiety was already through the roof I was already like on the edge you know kind of like gritting my teeth a little bit but when Jesse Plemons shows up in this film and the way they shot the whole scene I was just just waiting for the foot to drop or something to happen, you know? I was so uncomfortable, it wasn't even funny. And I cannot tell you how many times, I, I literally jumped out of my seat twice in that scene. And again, I won't tell you why or what happens, but I just say this, that I know that Jesse Playboys was the last minute addition to this film. He only has once in this film entirely, but oh my God, he made the absolute best out of it. And it's probably the best scene in the entire film, if I'm being honest, okay? All the other characters in this film, Chris Adonis, the young woman, the Hispanic guy and the black gentleman, they all do, the, they all do a decent job. Obviously, the Hispanic dude is basically going to help mentor this, this this young woman and she's you know trying her best because she's also doing the same thing that uh Chris Dunn's character is doing she's becoming a war photographer and you see as the film goes on how she basically deals with so much of what she's seeing how people are being treated how people are being tortured killed and all that stuff with that again going into detail in the third act specifically you start to see her become more reckless put herself in a really really bad situation and to the point to where something really bad happens with her involvement okay this film but feel like a documentary to me. It was like it literally haunting to see what America may come to one day. Okay, the visuals, the cinematography were just top notch. And the fact that this, this might be Alex Garland's last film, holy crap, to say the least. Did it bother me that it, there was no real re resolution? Not necessarily, because at the end of the day, there's never really a, a point in the film where you feel like there's going to be a, a solid resolution. Where you think that, there, that there's going to be peace or any type of great ending to the film that makes sense, right? You know where they're going. You have an idea what's going to happen. But let me tell you, when the last shot happens, it's just jaw-dropping. It's it literally it's something you will never, ever forget. Okay? Like, I remember what the first scene with Chris had was she kept with her camera i was like what the fudge are you doing how can you be so inhumane how can you sit there capturing with your camera what you're capturing which was an individual unfortunately okay and then like every other scene after that i would just on my edge because things were constantly happening and every other scene either something it thought something explodes someone gets shot you're constantly seeing this rough side of america to where no place is safe even when you think it's safe, it's not. I remember a specific scene to where they visit this town and Chris is just talking to this black gentleman, same I believe his name is, and she says to him like, oh, this is such a nice town and all that. And he kind of lets her know like, 
hey, this town may be peaceful right now, but don't think for a second that it's not as bad as the rest of the world is. And he tells her just kind of like, look around. And you see on top of the rooftop, two, two gentlemen with guns, you know? And I tell you what, the third act is very, very, it's hitifying. It's very much, holy crap. Like, when I, like, I can't believe what I'm watching. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You know, this is the most realistic film you'll ever probably watch in your entire life. It doesn't hold back. It's not gonna be, fun. it's not gonna be a film for everybody to watch. Certain people will definitely hate this film understandably so this film it's like basically the best way to put it is it's a lighter version like the only way i could compare it to it's a lighter version of killers of the fire moon where there's so much killing happening and it's not very justifiable the way it's happening it's just like every every corner you're going through you don't know what's gonna happen you don't feel safe in this film you, you're the edge of your seat the entire time right like the moments where it's slow there's nothing happening you appreciate those seats so much because it's like okay okay we're in a scene where there's nothing happening and then boom something happens it's like oh my god like you know this if you don't have anxiety you probably will by the end of this film i can i can almost guarantee that because like i said anxiety driven the whole time i was on the edge of my seat and i never was comfortable at all throughout the whole film and for that i give civil war a 10 out of 10 top seller would easily recommend it anybody out there who wants to watch this film if you're asking me right now again I've, I've addressed this twice this is not a political film this is not a political film where they're going to shut down any type of political agenda okay this is specifically about four journalists who are on a mission to basically try to interview the president and there's a lot of obstacles and challenges along the way and unfortunately that journey is both scarring terrifying haunting and thrilling for you as a viewer to, to watch okay this is not a light-hearted film this is not a film with a lot of laughs and giggling and smiling where you're gonna feel good about yourself this is a film if this is america in a couple of years from now i want to move genuinely i want to move i don't want to be here anymore if that's the case because what you see will terrify you for what's to come okay i, ha I have honestly i have no nitpick i have no complaints that's why i've been talking about this highly about this one the whole time if you're someone who does want to watch this film for whatever reason i respect that that's fine but me personally as someone who was introduced to this film one thing i'll tell you is this again if you want to watch this film don't expect a good resolution uh any questions answered about why i think it's happening okay just walk into this follow these people along their journey journey and join the ride if you're able to at least okay this is not something that people are gonna be able to stomach quite easily and I, I can say this right now i know a lot of people who could watch this film because of what it shows okay as always cash nation if you enjoyed this review more please do me a favor hit that like button subscribe for more reviews coming to you on the very near future i want to thank you so much for watching this review do me a favor comment below what movie i should re review next in the near future i'm gonna be seeing abigail tomorrow now with public cash so do me a favor hit the subscribe button below hey for watching peace out cash so stay friendly do me a favor what was your favorite part about civil war did you watch civil war why why not